They were screams, human screams. They sounded far off, but that's what they were. Uh, dude, you were a lizard at the time. Who knows what you heard? I know, Marco. I do. I can't stand the thought of what's happening to people down there. It's sickening. We've got to do something! Oh yeah, let's rush down there, then it could be us screaming. Marco, you can't just ignore what's going on! Sure I can. All I gotta do is remind myself that, um, hey, guess what? I don't wanna die. That's it then? Just whatever's best for Marco? I don't think Marco's being selfish. Just the opposite. He's thinking about his father. He's uh, not the only one who's got people to worry about! I have a family! We all do! Not me. It's true. No one gives a crap about me. I do! Look, I'm not asking anyone else to go with me, but I don't have a choice. I heard that scream today, and I know Tom is going down there tonight. He's my brother. I have to try and save him. I have to do it. For Tom. I'll go with you. For Elfangor. There's no one else who can do anything to stop the Yerks. I'm scared to death just thinking about it, but I'm here. This is bad. This is so bad. If it weren't for Tom, I'd walk away. Look, Marco, you don't Oh, have shut up! You're my best friend, you jerk! Like, I'm gonna let you face this all alone. I'm in. I'm in to rescue Tom. That's it. Then, I'm done. You know, back in the old days, I mean the real, real old days, the Africans, the early Europeans, the Native Americans, they all believed animals had spirits. And they would call on those spirits to protect them from evil. They'd ask the spirit of the eagle for a sight. They would ask the lion for a strength. I guess what we're doing is sort of basic. Even though it is the Andalite's technology that made it possible. We're still just scared little human beings trying to borrow the mind of the fox, the eyes of the eagle, or the hawk, and the strength of a lion. Just like thousands of years ago, we're calling on the animals to help protect us from evil. Will their strength be enough? I don't know. It's like all the basic forces of planet Earth are being brought into the battle. Oh yeah, nice story, Cassie. But guess what? We're five normal college students up against the Yerks. If it were a football game, who would you bet on? We're toast. Don't be so sure. We're fighting for Mother Earth. She has some tricks up her sleeve. Oh, good grief. Let's all buy sandals and go hug some trees. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie's right about one thing. The only thing we have going for us is this animal morphing thing. And so far, the only morphs we've acquired are a cat, a bird, a dog, a horse, and a lizard. I think we need a little more firepower. We should head for the gardens. We need to acquire more DNA for some animals that are not going to be easy to acquire. Yeah. I don't think the hawk, the horse, or the lizard team is going to impress the Yerks. Rachel's right. I think we need to head to the gardens. We need to get some help from Mother Earth's toughest children. Can you get us in, Cassie? I can get in and free, but you guys might have to pay. But I can use my mom's employee discount, so it'll be cheaper. One of the perks of having your mother who's the top veterinarian. Oh, I'm sure we could talk them into letting us in for nothing. Just tell them we're working on Project Animorphs. Wait. Say that again. Uh, what part? The project. What did you say? Um, Project Animorphs? Project Animorphs. I like it. That's what we're gonna call ourselves. Oh boy, great. Next thing you know, we'll be wearing uniforms like they did on Beyond the Stars series. <laughs> I love that show! Project Animorphs to the rescue! Thank you for listening to Project Animorphs. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, and don't forget to subscribe, and click the little notification bell to be reminded about all our videos. Thank you so much for your support.